John, as the angels expressed after announcing the birth to the shepherds, complete the following. Glory, glory, glory to, God. to God in the highest. What did Jesus' birth bring to men? And on earth, peace, peace goodwill, goodwill toward men. men. So his birth brought to us peace and goodwill. Amen. And it brought to God glory. Amen. Amen. For all y'all trying to give you a chance to uh, <laughs> write, because I know it's a lot. Amen. <laughs> Don't forget this Sunday morning, uh, Pastor Armstrong will be here ministering in my stead. Amen. And please do not lay out of church. Amen. Right. Amen. Please don't make me look bad. Amen. Please, I'm begging you, please. Oh. Show up Amen. and be on your best behavior. Amen. <laughs> you know how to act. Amen. You know, they say when the cat's away, the mouse will play. I, I don't believe that for this house. You've no. got some maturity and growth. Amen. And you know what to do. Amen. Ralph will be waiting on the steps to bring her in. Roberto will have my office open and ready. And Sherry will attend her. Amen. All right? Amen. I'm making it plain so there'll be no confusion when I, I go and come back. Amen. Ralph will wait on for her on the steps like he waits for me. He'll help get her stuff in. Roberta will have my office unlocked already. We right. talked about it. Right. And Sherry will take care of her. Amen. Amen. Bring her out and let her sit and be whoever she needs to be. Amen. Amen. And receive the word of God that God's put in her. Because I believe he'll give her a word Amen. just for this house. Amen. And then next Wednesday night, Brother Mike will, will take the platform and sit Amen. and talk right. to us again. Amen. And the last time he sat, Lord God, help us all. It was awesome, wasn't it? He will, he's going to bring whatever the Lord puts in his heart. I'm not, I'm not boxing him in. I want him to be free yeah. to flow. Amen. Yeah. So, uh, and June 7, 8, and 9, we're going to be in revival right here three nights yeah. with Phyllis yeah. Ellis. Which we, what's the reason for that, Pastor? To get us ready for the end of the month for what's coming next. Amen. Amen. All, right. All right. All right. So, May 30th is a concealed carry class. And you, if you've signed up, please show up. Now, and I think that's all the business at hand, right? Amen. Yes, we need to sign up for that tonight. And uh, I'll do that at the end, okay? <clears throat> all right. In what way did Luke describe the works of Jesus, such as healing and delivering people from Satan's oppression? Complete the following. And all the multitude rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. Right. They were glorious. They still glorious. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What did Jesus receive from God the Father when he was transfigured before his disciples, Peter, James, and John? Honor, Honor, Honor and glory. He received it from God the Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And don't you know that's the very what God gave him, he's given to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What did the people proclaim when Jesus made his triumphal entrance into Jerusalem, an event we now commemorate on Palm Sunday? Blessed is the king, depends on your translation, who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. So it's whatever translation you use, amen? Amen. It don't, make, it don't make your answer wrong if it wasn't word for word what I read, all right? Yeah. right. Okay. What did Jesus say about himself shortly before his crucifixion? Now the Son of Man is glorified God, 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 God. So even in his crucifixion, it was glory. Yes. Yes. Why did Jesus ask the Father to glorify him? Choose one of the following. See, so he could glorify the Father. And everything that you do should be for that very same reason. Right. We don't come to church just to pet each other and see each other. We don't do that. We come to bring glory to the King of glory. Lift up your hands all you gates and the King of glory will shout.
before Jesus ascended to heaven and what authority had the Father given him and for what purpose had he given it? Authority. Over all flesh for the purpose. Given eternal life. Amen. And what is eternal life? So to know the only true God and Jesus Christ whom he has sent. Yes, yes. If you don't get all your answers, I'll be glad to share my paper with you, okay? So don't panic, all right? Well, I'll help you out. So Jesus is the highest expression of God to mankind. Yes. The complete revelation and manifestation of the glory of the Father. Amen. Recall the specific glory Jesus has given his followers. So what the Father gave the Son, the Son gave us. Now, we need to walk in that right there. Amen. 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 Father glorified the Son, and the Son glorified us. That we might live and bring glory back to the Father. Complete circle. Sure is. You can't come to, I don't care what state of mind you're in, when you walk in that door, you need to recognize I have stepped into a holy place. This is a place where God dwells. And I can't bring nothing in here that would hinder the moving of what he desires. And then you've got to let go and just yield yourself and say, I bless you, I love you, I magnify you. I glorify you, oh God. Standing on holy ground. This is a holy place. Yes. Yes. Why do you think I'm demanding order? Yes. 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 I'm calling order on a constant basis. Yes. Yes. I don't Amen. have a choice. Because yes. yes. the Lord's calling me to order. Amen. He's saying, respect my house. Yes. Right. Respect my presence. Amen. Yes. Respect. Yes. A holy reverence should fill this room yes. when the presence of God yes. is yes. moving. Yes. When Amen. the unction of the Holy One is moving, the Ruach of God is blowing, uh, you need to say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm not in a hurry. Amen. Amen. That's right. Whatever I'm aggravated with, it ain't worth it. Let me help you. Let it go. Yes. Yes. I don't want anything to hinder you from being oh, what yes. I need right now. Yes. Lord, just help us to grow up in areas, oh God. Yes. Help us to mature, to become mature yes. sons. Yes, Lord. You didn't see Jesus pouting. No. You didn't see him have an attitude. You didn't see those things. So what does Jesus desire for all whom the Father has given him? That they may be with him. And they may be holding the glory he received from the Father. What did Christ become for us when we received him? Christ Jesus became for us from God and righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. He became everything. Everything, everything, and I mean everything. For whose glory did God ordain the hidden wisdom that he revealed in Christ? Ours. Ours. Thank God. In a previous lesson, we learned that when God made the captain of their salvation, Jesus, perfect through sufferings, he was doing something specific for his many sons. What was he doing? Bringing them to glory. All your life, he's been trying to bring you to glory. And sometimes we cooperate and sometimes we hesitate. Come on. I've been guilty, you have too. Sometimes we in the vein and sometimes we don't know where the vein is. But we got to tap in and stay plugged into that source. We got to. Got to. Reflections on reclaimed glory. At the cross, Jesus became the recipient of all the sins committed by humanity. He became like every other human being, carrying our iniquity and rebellion, though he was born without sin and never sinned. He became sin of his own free will because of his love for us in order to conform to our nature so that we could become the righteousness of God in him. He left his heavenly glory behind to reach us in our fallen nature. 
Yet when he was resurrected, uh, he reclaimed his glory uh, and then gave it back to his people so they could be transformed uh, and shaped according to the glory of the Father. Amen. Yes. Jesus conformed to our image so we could be transformed into his likeness. For what reason has God, who commanded light to shine out of darkness, shone in our hearts? To give us the light of the knowledge of his glory in the face of Jesus Christ. You've got to have knowledge. What should we desire for others to experience in the same way we have? The light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. Shine on them. How's it going to shine on them? Who's it going to shine from? Us. Oh, what is the Is your light on? Yeah. <laughs> is your light on? Is it shining bright? Is your shade dull? What statement did Paul write in his second letter to the Corinthians, emphasizing that it is the glory of God living within his people that does the work and not themselves? Just back on there. No. Yep, nope. I saw that one. Hallelujah. Bless his name. I love you. I love you. Which one you want? I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Anyhow. Amen. What statement did Paul write in his second letter to the Corinthians, emphasizing that it is the glory of God living within his people that does the work and not themselves? Do I? We have this treasure in earth for the best. The one who boasts, boasts in the Lord? You're on 21, right? I'm on 20. Oh, 20. We have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. Now you need to understand that you have a treasure on the inside of this vessel. And it wasn't given to you for your gain. That's right. It wasn't given to you to make you look good. Amen. It was given to you that it might demonstrate the power of God. Amen. That what you do would bring glory to God's holy name. Amen. The reason people are sick of ministry and preachers is because they now are taking the glory Amen. of what rightfully belongs to God. Amen. 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 
If you don't teach, I can't. If you don't sing, I can't. Right. Because I recognize without him, without him, I could do nothing. Amen. 
In Christ, we are all carriers, oh my God, of a portable Eden. Wherever we go, we carry with us his glory through the indwelling Holy Spirit. We have access to our original environment. We have true life. Jesus said, I am the way, truth, and the life. And he who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. Remember, you are made for glory. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Turn to somebody and say, I'm made for glory. I'm made for glory. Some of y'all didn't believe it, so y'all need to say it again. Turn to somebody and say, I'm made for glory. 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 You know, Pastor Armstrong's church has that has their saying, their glory carriers, even on the side of their van. You know, that, that's their their saying, glory carriers. Amen. 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 And, and that's a great saying. It is. Yes. But let, you, let let me help you a little bit further. The whole body of Christ was created to be glory carriers. Amen. Amen. He don't just give it to one little group or one little organization or one little denomination, uh, but he breathed it on the body of Christ. Amen. So you're a glory carrier too. For <clears throat> Praise God. For existing continually in God's presence as you live your life, although the Holy Spirit already dwells within believers, we need to actively seek God and His glory through worship, praise, surrender to His will and faith. Yes. So you need to actively worship, yes. Yes. actively praise, yes. actively surrender to yes. his will, yes. oh my God. and actively work yes. in faith. Yes. <laughs> Jesus said, the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Until the day when we will once again live in uninterrupted glory, we must seek God's glory daily. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So let's pray this prayer together. Father of glory, we praise you through Jesus. We live in your presence and walk once more according to your glory. Let our whole lives glorify you just as Jesus did. As we complete the work you have given us to do on earth, to have eternal life is to know you, the true God, and to know Jesus Christ, who you have sent. Jesus is our wisdom, our righteousness, our sanctification, and our redemption. Impart to us the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Be glorified in us, O Lord. Let us see your glory. We say, as the angel said, Glory to God in the highest. Amen. Amen. Y'all can do the rest of the stuff on your own, the action steps. Right. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Anybody else got anything you want to share tonight?